Hey there folks, it's the end of January and we're in our shade garden here on the uh, north end of Salt Spring Island. And if you want a really cool exotic looking uh, plant for your exotic garden, it's a great companion plant for other uh, exotica, is a bear's breech, is the common name, or Acanthus mollus. So this is evergreen in our climate. And um, what it does, it sends out beautiful purple bell-shaped flowers. And um, I guess in a cold climate, I'm not sure how cold hardy exactly this plant is, but uh, I, I suspect in a colder climate, it's probably going to freeze down. So this is more like um, a helleborus in this climate. It's evergreen. And uh, even though the leaves are kind of tender, they seem very tender. It seems like the frost should get this plant. But here it's always uh, nice and green. And um, it will grow even bigger than this. We have several of them in our garden. Protect them from the deer. It likes partial shade. And the flower spike will shoot out the center of this plant and grow up, uh, you know, maybe a couple of feet above it. And like I say, they are, uh, they are purple. This one's putting out new leaves still, even though we're uh, just about a day away from uh, Jan uh, February. And it's always, uh, always healthy looking. Water it in the summertime um, if you have extended dry periods, although it can take a little bit of drought. Uh, but to look healthiest, give it a little bit of uh, irrigation. And we have this one growing with, uh, you know, there's self-seeded trachycarpus palms in here. And there's lots of evergreen ferns. We're big on the uh, evergreen plants, so uh, try this if you can find it in your local nursery, Acanthus mollus or Bear's Breach. I'll grab the camera and I'll give you a closer look at this pretty cool plant. There's also rhodos growing in here, and we have some bamboo uh, behind it as well. All right, folks. Thanks for watching, and uh, happy exotic gardening. Isn't that pretty cool looking? I think it's pretty awesome. And you can see the new leaves, look at, they are actually pretty tender looking, but it uh, doesn't ever get cold enough here to bother it.